So normally when working with resin and resin 3D printers, you're gonna need some isopropyl alcohol to clean off your prints. And unfortunately it can be a little bit harsh to work with, which is why we're gonna be checking out this detergent. And no, I'm not talking about laundry detergent. This is 3D resin detergent. And in order to do this, we're gonna need some galactic size prints to test this out on. So this resin detergent is again, an alternative to using things like isopropyl alcohol or denatured alcohol for cleaning off your prints. And and the big factor with this is one, it's not flammable like these other materials that you can clean your prints with. And two, it doesn't have the harsh fumes that come with working with IPA. You're also gonna be cutting this with water. It says it's a three to two ratio of the detergent to water. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video and actually testing out how well this cleans compared to our typical IPA. Also an important note, you should still be wearing gloves when working with this. You don't want this on your hands or getting it in your mouth. Another really important factor with the resin detergent is the pricing. I almost forgot to mention that. This is $40 for a one and a half liter bottle of this resin detergent. Now you're gonna mix it again with water. It's a three to two ratio. So it'll be about two and a half liters for this for $40. So it is a good bit more expensive than your typical IPA, which this standard uh, 32 ounce bottle is just under one liter. And for the same price amount of $40, I was able to buy 10 of these 32 ounce 91% isopropyl alcohol bottles, which is a significant difference coming in at nine and a half liters compared to the two and a half for the resin detergent. I also ended up finding these 50% isopropyl alcohol bottles. I've never seen this before. So I picked these up. They were a dollar a piece. So I figured we'd try those out and compare as well. I've worked with 70% and that works just fine as well. Uh, these just happen to be the ones that were in stock, all the 91%. So that's what we're going to be using for this, but we'll see how the 50% also compares in this little study. And to test this all out, I've ran a handful of prints using some printers from today's video sponsor, which is none other than Elegoo, the makers of the Elegoo Jupiter SE, which is their large format resin 3D printer. We've also run some prints on the Elegoo Saturn 3 Ultra, which is their mid-size resin 3D printer. And we've also ran some prints off of one of my favorites, which is the Elegoo Mars 4 Ultra. Elegoo makes some of the best resin 3D printers on the market, and I'm using their rapid resin for all of the prints that we're gonna be testing in this video. If you're interested in more information about any of Elegoo's products, you'll find links to those down below. So before we can start cleaning off some of these prints with the detergent, let's actually open this up and pour it into this other container here. This has uh, up to four liters it can hold. And this bottle here should be, oh, it's a blue, it's a blue liquid. It does look like detergent. And I wasn't expecting that. It's actually a little bit more than one and a half liters of the detergent that's inside this bottle. It's, that's something nice I was not expecting. I figured it was gonna be actually under one and a half, but I've actually got a uh, one liter of water here since it's a three to two ratio. And we're just gonna pour this in and mix it together so that we can start testing out this cleaning solution. This also definitely has a lemon scent to it, sort of like a citrusy, lemony smell that's aromanating from the liquid here, which is much more pleasant than your typical IPA solution. I've also poured out about one to two cups of the solution here and set it aside in this other container because I'm gonna save that for the comparison between IPA and the 50% alcohol. I wanna do a straight test versus the dunking all of these larger prints into the solution here. And just to try and keep this as fair as possible, since there's a little bit over two liters of the resin detergent, I'm gonna be using a little over two liters of the 91% IPA for cleaning off the prints. And the two liters of liquid barely fills a small portion of this mid-size resin cleaning station here from Elegoo. You definitely wanna consider at least two of the bottles of the resin detergent if you're gonna be using any sort of resin cleaning unit. I'm also gonna let each of the prints run for three and a half minutes, occasionally moving them around to try and get them as best positioned inside the liquid as I can. 
the Galactus head was just way too big, so I had to dunk it directly into the previous bucket with the IPA, and just look how dirty that IPA has already gotten just from this initial set of prints. Now let's test out the resin detergent. Now one of the other instructions with the detergent is that after you're done cleaning them, you're supposed to rinse it underwater. Now, I'm never gonna directly rinse any of my resin prints in a sink or anything like that underwater. If I wanna use water, I'll have a bucket separate for that that I can use to dip my prints in and rinse those off of whatever residual residue might be on there of the detergent. Now with IPA, I almost never do this unless I'm trying to warm up the print with some warm water to loosen up the supports. And if you didn't already know, that's a great tip of an easy way to remove those supports is just warming them up slightly. So both of the containers have cleaned the exact same set of prints for the same amount of time. And it's so much harder to see the difference here between uh, th just the detergent and the IPA. Like the detergent, since it's that blue tint, it's really hard to tell if it's dirty. That's kind of my only concern at this point. With the IPA, it's really easy to see how cloudy and dirty your IPA is getting. I'm not entirely sure how easy that's gonna be with the detergent. What I'm gonna end up doing is letting these sit and rest overnight to see what settles. And we can check that out in the morning. In the meantime, let's clean up those rest of the prints. And so for the last little experiment that we're gonna test out before checking out the results is using the 91% a clean set of detergent as well as that 50% IPA that I found, which I looked at the ingredients and it's just cut with water. So it's 50% IPA, 50% water. Same with the 91%, it's 91% IPA and the other 9% is water. And before we take a look at the results of our prints and the cleaning, here is the cleaning solutions that we used. And I've let these sit for almost 24 hours. And inside the blue detergent, you can really easily see that the resin has settled to the bottom and really separated between the detergents and uh, that cured resin that's in there, or the, the residual resin that's in there. In the IPA, it's still really foggy and dirty and much harder to see that it's separated, but there is a small film that's sitting on the bottom of the container. So let's take a look at these skulls by Wexter that were hand washed in three different cleaning options. The first one here is the detergent, which looks pretty good. It's uh, it's still a little glossy, I would say, maybe glossier than the other two here. But again, maybe this is because I hand wash these. I did not use a toothbrush, which normally you should do if you're gonna be hand washing your resin prints. But overall, it's nice and cured and dried. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. It's not tacky or anything anything like that. I was expecting these to be semi tacky and they're not at all. What I'm kind of most surprised by is the 50% IPA of how well this cleaned. Now, and maybe I just did a better job of hand washing this one over the other two. This one just looks so clean and dry and not really glossy at all. And the 91% is what I expected it to be. It's, uh, yeah, it's it's clean. It's what I typically see when I'm working with isopropyl alcohol and cleaning my resin prints. But again, there is a little bit of gloss to this one. And here's the large galactic bus by Wicked 3D. I'm honestly just impressed with how the overall prints turned out, but also how well the resin detergent did compared to the standard isopropyl alcohol that I'm used to working with. Again, the big thing that I was expecting to see from this because I've used other cleaning products before and typically it'll clean them, but it leaves the surface feeling very tacky. And this doesn't feel tacky at all. It's it's honestly very impressive. Uh, again, very, I would say expensive compared to your isopropyl alcohol, but a fantastic option, especially for anyone that's very sensitive to the harsh fumes of working with isopropyl alcohol. This just, again, has that nice citrusy lemony scent to it and really didn't bother me at all while working with it. And the other big factor with this one is the detergent is it's not flammable, which is kind of cool. I'm not gonna test that out and see if it is flammable or not to prove it if it's not, I'm not gonna just try and light those on fire or anything crazy like that. And if someone just handed me one of these prints, I honestly don't think I would have been able to tell the difference between which one was cleaned with the isopropyl alcohol versus the cleaning detergent. Also wanna say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continuous support. If you're interested in things like my resin 3D printer settings that I used for these prints, you can find that over in my Patreon. And if you're interested in picking up some of this resin detergent for yourself, I'll have links to that down below. There are again, a few different options 
ones that are available to try out. I saw over on Amazon. This is just the one that I ended up picking up. And let me know in the comments what you think about the resin cleaning detergent and if there's something else that you use that you think works even better than this or isopropyl alcohol. Hey, thanks so much for watching you all and I'll see you next time. So before I even made this video, when I ordered the product, I had an idea of a thumbnail for the video where it's like me pouring the detergent over a print and it kind of like splashing and going crazy everywhere. So this is me refilling the container to attempt to get that thumbnail. A little behind the scenes thing here for you guys. Hopefully that worked.